well, it's been a couple of days. What was just the, the evaluation from, from Saturday's game? Um, you know, I think as a team and as a group, we need, we need to be better. Um, I think uh, offensive line-wise, we showed flashes, but then again, we need to be way better in the moment. And, um, you know, we need to be able to execute at a high level, and um, like, the, you know, the standard at Oklahoma is. And um, that starts with me. You know, it starts with all five of us up front. And uh, it starts with, you know, everybody in that room. We need to be at our best and uh, be able to execute at a high level. Is so it a teamwork thing or is it individual? What's, what's the biggest problem? I think it's a, it's a group thing, you know. We got to, I mean, we, we show flashes here and there, but, you know, we need to be as a group together through, you know, through everything this season, um, game to game. Uh, we need to have a 1-0 and mentality every single week. We need to come out with that same mindset, um, you, know, you know, how you play offensive line at the University of Oklahoma and, um, it's a group thing. It's never individual at this position. Um, you know, you have to fire on all cylinders as a group, um, and as a as a team, and as a unit, especially. How are you coming along, just in terms of calls, things like that? Are the comfort level in doing all of that? I know that we talked to you during the spring. Said it just needed reps, needed to get it done. Uh, how do you feel like that's coming along? I think I'm far more comfortable. Uh, you, you look at it from six months from now. I'm far more comfortable with calls and. Uh, you know, being able to get my first start out there um, last weekend um, was great. You know, having that experience and, um, you know, that feel to it. Um, I felt like, you know, offensively with the scheme, I was fine. Um, and, you know, being able to play, you know, in the moment at that level um, helped me out a lot. And uh, I've, I'm, I've, I've come a long way, so I'm, I'm glad to see that. Specifically with the run game, what's, what's going on with it right now? Why is it so bad? Um, you know, it's 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 just again a whole group thing. You know, we need to be better. We need to keep our you know head down and keep working. Um, you know, it starts with film. It starts with weights. It starts with you know everything else. Go go to our basics, man. Fix what we can fix and um, get after it every single week. What's the vibe of the team right now? Is there any panic that you guys can get this fixed offensively? Oh, I mean, you know, we're, we're just gonna keep working, man. You know, there's you can't sit here and you know say this this happened this happened. Um, you know, the sport, you know, it's week by week, man. You got to take every week um, the same way. And um, we're going to, you know, come together, you know, fix fix what we need to fix and um, get after it and get it done. What happened at the end of the game? Penalty. You know, that was, I need to be way better in that moment. Um, I have dealt with it with my team. I've, I, you know, I've apologized to the team. And uh, my, my number one um, thing is to make sure I gain the respect of my teammates back. Um, and, and that's something that, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm still, you know, down about is something that I cannot do in that moment. Um, it just emotions got to me. Um, that stuff will never happen again. I've apologized to the team. I've apologized to the coaches. Um, and I made it clear I'll do anything I can to um, to fix that mistake and uh, and move on. What is it about this offense, this offensive line, that gives you confidence that y'all can be that group that you talked about? I mean, we're we're tight. You know, we're a group that we, we all hang out together. We love each other. Um, you know, we've got, we've gone through these summer workouts with Schmitty. We've done all the winter stuff with school. Like we bled, we've sweat. You know, we bleed together, and um, that's something you know that's that over you know the last couple of years you know we struggled with. And I think this year this this group is tight. But you know, it comes to you know getting on the field, you know, and being able to execute at a high level. So. How do you deal? Unfortunately, offensive linemen don't only get noticed when they struggle, penalties, things of that nature. How do you deal with that? You know, you just got to, you know, if you make a mistake, man, it's the next play. And, you know, that's something I, I need to focus on now is, um, you know, I made that mistake. That last snap was terrible. Can't happen again. Um, it's really unexcusable. I have no excuse um, for my actions on the field. Well, I was, I was talking about just the play of the offensive line, the struggles that people, that you guys are going through, that them too. You, you got to tone it out, man. You got to, you know, put your head down and keep working. That's all I know how to do. All Again, all I know how to do is to attack every single week with the same mentality and the same intensity and that's how you fix stuff in this game and and I'll do that every single week the group is going to do that every single week and it starts with me you know and it starts with the offensive line and the five guys up front we need to be physical nasty and violent and um, that is something you know that we come at every single week and that's what we have to do how challenging is it for the offense to find a rhythm when you've got so many moving pieces including on the offensive line I mean Jackson's had to take snaps from three different centers through two games already you know, yeah, I think it could, could not be, um, you know, rotating centers. You know, we've obviously dealt with our problems, you know, in the off season with people moving around and um, new guys coming in. But, you know, we got to be – it doesn't matter. You know, we got to be all on the same page. It doesn't matter who's in there at center. You know, we got to be all on the same page and, you know, at the same level and 
all we we gotta have one brand, one mind. You know, if we do that, we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. How did you feel it went with Jackson on Saturday? I think it's great. Me and Jackson, I've known Jackson forever. You know, and I think our connection. You know, we're um, we're always on the same page. Um, I think you know, protection wise, um, schematically, you know, we're on the same page. You know, he sat down with me and we've gone over stuff. And um, he's a gra- he's a guy that you wanna <laughs> you wanna put your your body out there for you know I'm you know it's, you sacrifice your body and that's you know that's what we do on the offense and Jackson's a guy that we want to protect you know and so um, and you know and we, we just need to be better and um, Jackson does a great job and um, he, he makes it easy for us you know wanting to um, block room he's a great quarterback and a great guy. Last week Darren talked about needing to be way more physical but what's kind of been the missing piece for you guys in those two games from the physicality side? You know f- physicality you know, it just comes with a mindset you know and I think um, being physical, it starts with, you know, your mindset every week. You show up Monday just like today. You know, we're in, you know, we're doing our mental Monday, and, you know, we're coming out, and, you know, just still being physical. Tuesday, physical. Wednesday, physical. Like, every single day you got to bring that physicality, and, you know, that's something that I've always, you know, had instilled in me. You know, <laughs> you know you're, when you're not the biggest guy out there, you gotta you got to make up for it, you know, and try to make up for it somehow. And, um, you know, Darren was absolutely right last week. I think we got better this week, and if we just continue to get better, man, we're going to be in good shape, so. Uh, g- going into this weekend, maybe what's the balance between having a sense of urgency, wanting to, to improve things while also not maybe forcing it or, or getting outside your, your comfort zone? You know, you just way. always have the sense of urgency to, you know, go out and get better, you know, and keep working, put our head down. And um, if we do that, man, you know, it's, you keep saying it, we'll be, we'll be good. We'll be right where we need to be, you know. And um, I think if we do that, you know, we'll, we'll like what we see this week and, you know, come to go. But we just need to get better. And I think that's every group and every position. And that's that's every team in the country. You know, you, you play two weeks, you play week one, you play week two, you need to get better. That's, that's how it is, and that's how football is. Is this thing closer than maybe people realize? Do you guys feel like that? That the offense just as a whole is closer to turning the corner than everybody else thinks? I, I mean, I just think <laughs> from my standpoint and where I was, you know, six months ago is just getting better every single week. and. And if I can do that and continue to do that throughout the season, by the end of the year, you know, I'm going to be right where we need to be. And if that comes next week as a group, if it comes in two days, you know, I think, you know, you, you never really know when that is. And I think, you know, the main thing is right now we need to, we need to do better in practice. We need to execute at a higher level. And um, that starts in practice. You know, if we can do it in practice, we'll be able to do it on, on Saturdays.